referrals are good, but it, but no matter what, um, you want to see full weddings. I would want to see full weddings. Um, what that means is I want to know, okay, about how many images I'm going to get, because anybody can take a good picture, but at the end of the day, how many, what's your consistency of taking good pictures? That's really what makes a good photographer. Um, now, and you want to see what the photos are going to look like when they're delivered. You know, do they work on all of them? Do they work on, oh, here's like, you know, do they give you like, oh, here's 50 photos. What? Are you kidding me? 50 photos for an entire wedding? Um, on average, a good number is minimum. Minimum, absolute minimum as far as I'm concerned for one photographer would be um, about 100 photos per hour is what I would expect. Um, if it's two photographers, you know, it doesn't necessarily go up hugely. I would expect for two photographer wedding, eight hours of coverage, 1,200 images is probably about right, 1,200 to 1,400. You know, once you hit 1,500 images, you know, clients start getting overwhelmed, you know, and they're like, oh my God, look at all this stuff. I'm like, okay, even if it's all amazing, you know, it's gonna, you might overwhelm them a little bit. But it is also depending on the client, and it depends on making sure that the pictures are different. Um, I would want to make sure to look at, does this particular photographer do art? Okay, can they do amazing art stuff? Do they encourage that? Um, and not only can they do art, but can they do candid? Um, can they do the reception? Um, shooting the reception is much different than shooting the, uh, the wedding. Um, I want to see the full spectrum. I want to see all of the images and I want to take a look through them and make sure that, okay, are they, where, to find out where they're weak and where they're strong. Um. Well, when shooting the, let's say, the reception or the wedding, um, it's very, very, you have to be really great at photojournalism. You know, you got to be everywhere, nowhere, be able to frame it right, be able to capture it, to know what to be shooting. Um, that's really important. Um, so that's what's important for the reception and wedding and such. But when it comes to um, the getting ready stages, um, that photographer has to be much better at setting stuff up because you're setting up the details, you're setting up the dress, you're setting up the rings, you're setting up all the little things of the day. So they almost have to be a product photographer. So somebody that's good at doing product is usually not as well good at doing photojournalism. So you have to find somebody that's very good across the board. You also want somebody that's very good at creating art shots with a bride and groom, getting two people together. Totally different skill set. Um, you, know, you know, thankfully it's one of the areas I, I love all of them and I consider myself extremely diverse. Um, but you know, not every photographer has strengths in all areas. I do recommend getting two photographers, yes, but from the same photographer or that you hire because they have people that they work with, they trust, they know what to do. Um, you know, look at all the work, make sure that you have a good rapport with them, make sure that you feel comfortable with them. That's really important. Um, if you feel comfortable with them, okay, well then more than likely you'll be okay. As long as they look like somebody that's going to still be on it and actually try to, um, uh, I don't want to say not be lazy, but kind of not be lazy. Some photographers will get lazy when they hit the reception. They'll stop shooting or they're just like, yeah, I'm going to hang back because it's not artistic. Well, it's still their day. It's memories. It's energy. You still want that. I want that. Um, so I want to see all of that. That's what I'd want to see.